You think this is a I'm stuck in a snow globe story? Well, it's not. So the story starts in school on Friday. I was playing cookie clicker, even though I was not supposed to, and I got called out by the best teacher, Miss Miss Smith. She told me to close the tab. I mumbled to, and I mumbled to myself, "Are you serious, right now, bro?" So I closed the tab, and everything was normal until until one minute passed. Until two, one minute passed, and it's and it was still two. It's like time has stopped. But when I dropped my pen, it didn't freeze. I asked, I asked, when is the bell going to ring? Isaiah, Isaiah said, wait one more minute. I told him it has been two minutes. He looked confused. I asked Carl if you feel like time has stopped. He said yes. Two hours has passed, but it was still two o'clock. Then I saw a tree with presents under it. I said to myself, it's only the 19th. Then I saw a snow globe and I touched it. And then I woke up in a pile of snow. I turned around and I saw a snowman walking. I said to myself, am I in Ohio? The snow globe said, no, you're in Snow Globe Avenue, Ohio. Even though at the beginning I said, you think this is I'm stuck in a snow globe story? It turned out to be one. I asked the snowman how to get out. He said, I had to hit the glass with a sharpened candy cane. But the only way to get a candy cane was to make a 10 foot snow cone or buy one for $6.99. So I bought one. If somebody thought I was gonna make a 10 foot snow cone, we need to see a doctor. So I went to the snow mart and and I broke the glass. I took time, 201. One minute later, 202. So then I left school and me and my family caught their flight to Ohio.